so this is going to be a regular occurrence in the evenings now that it's cooling off a little bit I know y'all be jealous right <laughs> I'm a sexy beast. Don't be, don't be jelling now. <laughs> I'm a sexy beast. Don't be jelling. I'm a beast. Got my little sun protection on here. I know. I know. It's hard to take it all in. That's why I don't worry about my man. <laughs> <laughs> Now, with uh, having having your legs exposed like that, hang on. That's just a piddle pond. I know. That's too bad if you're supposed to be perching there. But you can see how big it it is when it's not so dry. Whatever that is moving around, it's either a snake or it's a, yeah, it's a turtle. Could be frogs, could be turtles. I don't know. See this right here? That's an armadillo hole. See that right there? Hi, baby girl. We have to watch out for the armadillos up in the front, you know, where we run the dogs. Yeah. You won't see those holes and... Just snap a leg. Oh, get that thingy. We're going to our pond. Again. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I don't smell any hogs and I don't smell any bears, so... Throw a big handful out in them as close out to the middle as you can. Uh, looks really murky. I wonder what we can do to. Well, oxidize it a little bit more, maybe. There are things we can do. Yeah. I mean, one thing that's good is there's not a huge a lot of moss. Right. Yeah, we don't have algae bloom going on at all. Donnie said he dug it 18 foot deep. Okay, so, I mean, it's, you know, a few feet below. You, you can see. see where the normal level is. Right, yeah, I was looking over here. Yeah, look over there on the far bank. Yeah. Here, fishy, 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 fishy.
Come, 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 come. Where's Luke go? Nope. Yeah, see they haven't been fed in so long. We'll do this a few nights and you'll see. Yeah. They'll come to expect it and they'll just be roiling the surface. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh-huh. Little ones down there. I can tell if it's bass or... That looks like bass. That little fingerling? Yeah, it looks like bass. Is that a big old turtle right there? That was a um, bluegill. So the pond is not dead. No, that's uh, very encouraging. Like you said, it'd be good to be able to dock out here. Yeah. And no, they don't have um, a bunch of 55 gallon barrels at work. Oh, okay. There's a bigger bluegill. There's something bigger sized moving right out there. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Now I said I was going to take pictures for Bill. Man, and all the pine cones a girl could want for Christmas crafts. Oh, you hear that? It's not what I thought it was. Yeah, like I said, we'll keep doing this for doing this in nights. Oh, he was good size. Whatever he was out there. I would like to walk down over further here. And I'm going to negatory that one. Okay. Um, this is the time of evening when the coyotes are going to start rolling around. And that ravine is right there. Right. You're going to get yourself in trouble. So much potential out here. So much potential. So the hope is to be able to go all the way out to our lot line. It goes, oh geez, 
it goes way back there. And it still goes another I want to say 1,500 feet beyond the pond out that way. It's a pretty decent size of property. Uh, you know, for us to be able to keep maintained. We're not 40-somethings anymore, so this is just about ideal for us. You know, and that's what we wanted. We wanted a, a nice ranch house, kind of in the middle of a piece of property, so we had distance between us and any neighbors. And, uh, yeah. But I got a chance to talk with the man who actually put these ponds in. And he just did so much work out here. And life events happened to him. Anyway, he recovered nicely, married a nice lady, lives not too far from us. And he is the fire chief. Two of our fire stations here. Super nice guy. He's got his poop and a scoop, a smile on his face, and a an attitude of service. So he gave us a lot of background information on the place, and he was asking questions, and he was a little disheartened by the damage the previous owners here had done and is super happy to see that it's all getting cleaned up. Gosh. One pile at a time. <laughs> this section here is the next to go all the way out to the road. I'm going to take out some of those trees, but let's see if you can count them. I don't know if you can see the lines, the electric pole lines, but there's this one, the next one, and see that third one way down there? That's our property line. So, we got a lot of clearing out to do. Better than 300, and tree, 300 trees to go. Well, 299 now, yay. So, yeah. We're getting it done, guys. One day, one bit at a time. She looks a little, she looks a little tragic right now, but from what everybody around here has told us, it looks a thousand times better. And all we did was soap and water on the outside. That's all we did. Soap and water was all it needed. Oh, our next project, and we're hoping to get that done this fall, is this front patio. So we're going to extend it out. Extend it out. Um, all new decking. We're not going to do concrete. So all new decking. A nice stairway that goes out here. And then follow it over here to this flat area where we're going to put in a, a fire pit and nice chairs. We'll have that for the fall. You know, nothing like a nice fire pit with cozy chairs around it to say, come on over and hang out with us, neighbor. And with the neighbors that we have here, we're excited to do it. And we have fantastic people around us, so we're excited. But, some of those big trees, they gots to go. And that one right there, and that one right there. Those are my concerns. Get those two out of here and we'll have a defensible area around the house. Which way? Oh, I'm 
talking to them peoples. Hi, peoples. About stuff. Fire defensibility. Yeah. And getting it done one bit at a little time. One I was one bit. I was explaining about the fire pit with the comfy chairs. So did you look at this tree? Have you looked at this tree off as well? I have not looked at it. What's wrong with it? <coughs> so it's got that pretty good split in there. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, as but, close as it is to the E lines. Yeah. That would be the only thing that I would worry about is this one side breaking off and taking out. Well, it's their responsibility to keep everything cleared away from their electric lines. Okay. What if it breaks down here, babe? What if it does? Then it hits the electrical lines and takes. I mean, if you want to take it down, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> It's a non-producing ornamental pear tree. It serves no purpose. I'd rather take it down. And, you know, I just had that idea. This would be pretty. So we're looking at doing the veteran memorial garden up there. Correct. What about on the back side of it? Okay. Because we figure it's going to be probably, what, a 12 inch or a 12, 12 foot circle out there. On the perimeter of the circle on the back side here to right. match up with the horseshoe driveway shape. Right. Three apple trees. And then you've got your rose bushes. And you go on down the red, white, and blue. Yeah. Apple trees. I mean, nothing's more American than Johnny Appleseed, baby. Apple pie. And it was George Washington. Oh, that was a cherry that tree. That was a cherry tree. Never mind. Wow. Public schools, right here. <laughs> I got off easy going to private uh, Christian schools. All the answers, God did it. Everything. Who cut down the cherry tree, God did it. Yeah. But no, I'm well, technically, that's not wrong. <laughs> Who wrote the Constitution, God did. Technically not wrong. <laughs> Name our founding fathers. God. Because <laughs> I'm just looking, you know, if it, if it hits the electrical lines, it starts causing sparks. Right. Then there's nothing that we're going to be able to do. Yeah, I'm okay if we want to take it down. That's fine. Pear burns well. If I'm wrong, correct me. Put put it down there in the comments. What the habeas corpus Christi? He left. Cicadas. He he left his his skin behind. Yes, you're in that one. He's all over everywhere. Quick question, if you know the answer, drop it down in the comments. How many instars does a cicada go through in a season? Do, 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 do. Yeah. I'm fine if we want to take it down. That just gives me a better place to put the Community fire pit, man. Forgot to what? Did you get my did you get my chicken boots? Yes. <laughs> 